Hello, thank you for watching. If you could uh, leave a like or subscribe or leave a comment, I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you very much for watching. So today's video, I'm going to do one of those, um, like I did the leverage one for explaining how something works. I won't go too much into the scientific sort of um, uh, words then, but uh, this is a ramp pump. You might have seen them or heard about them, you know, we used to have them years ago. We still can get them, but uh, not as common as we used to be. So I wouldn't mind getting a original cast iron one then to restore, but uh, I'm keeping my eye out, out then. So this is how it actually basically works. The figures I've used, take them with a grain of salt. Uh, might not be quite right to say, but uh, gives you an idea anyway. So how it works. So rule of thumb now is two thirds lost and one third pumped. So say now we've got a um, stream or river down the bottom of a valley and it's only say it's only angled like angled like that. So you have a long pipe and going up say 15 foot so the pumps here and that's where it's 15 foot between and say so you got 30 litres quite a fair size one and you got 30 litres rushing down the pipe and you got a pipe all the way from there say it's 50 foot or more say rushes down so it rushes down now fast at uh, low pressure, say, big flow, uh, low pressure, and you got a valve here. Say now the water now gets up to, say, 20 litres a minute, so that's the speed of it. That then slams shut. As that slams shut, this water, it has to go somewhere because it just slams bang shut. So the momentum of it or the connect kinetic energy of it has to go somewhere so it's m momentum now going flat out there gets bang shut and this valve then one way valve it bangs that open and it goes up to here to high pressure side okay then once that happens the pressure's gone then it has got rid of that and the pressure's gone down this opens again this stops flowing this opens again starts to flow again it gets up to 20 and it goes bang again woof uh, up again so it goes bang, bang, bang all the time. So it, uh, as soon as it, st it starts to go, it goes bang again. And all that energy, the gravity, you know, kinetic energy, the water flowing, gets forced up here. And it's about, say, you lose two, 20 litres there, but you gain 10 litres, goes bang up there, up here. Okay, so that's how that works. So it's the rushing water that actually makes it go to pump in. And then... You have a accumulator and an air chamber, so it's full of air now, and this will go up, and this will actually because liquid you can't compress the liquid. Uh, it has you know that's why you use hydraulics, but it won't compress, but air you can compress it or any gas. So this air now, as this goes bang up, this air will flex a bit and it'll take out that sort of um, shock then, and it'll uh, keep a constant sort of pressure. So this will go, say so if the air was here to start, then it's compressed it up to here, so it's 10 psi zooming. And that keeps this water 10 psi on it. This air goes up and down, up and down a bit as it pumps in. Evens out as well then. Okay, so you've got 20 litres here flowing flat out, bang, goes up here, and you've got 10 litres here. So you've got 30 in, and you're pumping 10 litres up. So you've got 15 foot drop here, and a long span of a pipe. And you can actually pump it vertically up, 100 foot up. So you've got a stream bottom of, um, of your valley. And your house is 100 foot up. You can pump it up to a house like that. Constant, all the time. Or up to a cistern, a cistern and 100 foot up. And that supplies the water troughs for the cattle or something. But it has to flow all the time. It never stops. It just goes all, all the time. And only energy it needs is the connected, the kinetic energy of the momentum of the water constantly going and bang shut and going up. So the technical name for this sort of effect is hydraulic shock. So bang is a shock, you know, or water hammer, hammer effect. So same thing, water hammer. So it hammers, the water hammers its way up through that valve. Oh, oh yeah, as this works then, the pressure there actually closes that valve. So this valve is like a one-way valve. So it's closed until that gets really, you know, until that shock comes and it gets enough energy to force its way up at the pressure end. Okay. So uh, 
history around this. Uh, the Romans actually discovered this with their water system. But uh, as we're say closing closing a tap fast or a valve tap uh, fast, it would put a, a shock through the pipes, you know. And I think it was seventeen seventeen seventy something. Some um, English uh, engineer in uh, Cheshire made this type uh, type of pump first. But I think there was sort of pumps before, but they didn't actually pump that far. But this type of pump, then it can actually pump quite far. But basically, more far you go up, more you need here then. Okay, more drop you need here, and more flow sort of thing. But uh, well, when I say flow, uh, the smaller pump, the smaller the flow we need then. But uh, that's how it works then. So all well, these are just sort of valves to show how basic valves, but the proper ones we have like spring loaded valves. So it gets to a certain point when bang it closes and you can sort of adjust them to get more more of a bang in. Okay. So, uh, some people when they make these put uh, inner tubes in there. So like uh, if you just filled up there there wouldn't be no pressure in it. But if you put an inner tube there and you pumped it up to 10 PSI, you would have 10 PSI to start and then this will compress it even more, you know. So say it goes up to 20 PSI something. Like here, say, say if it squishes right up to here, maybe it'll get to 20 or something. But if you had it pressurized to start, it will go more pressure. This is basically how accumulators and hydraulic systems like a loader um, soft ride works. But you have a rubber piece here, and if this is pressurized with uh, gas, a nitrogen gas thing, and or argon, or some, you know, something like that, it is a gas. And hydraulics, when they press that, uh, that um, diaphragm up and down, then, and that takes a shock out of it, you know. But... Uh, uh, this is just air and on the basic one then the old ones then yes so uh thank you for watching and that's it for me for now then uh if you could leave a like or subscribe i'd appreciate it very much thank you very much